In this video, I will show you how to create a uh, data frame and a vector. There are two different ways of holding data in uh, in R and be making it ready for uh, calculation for in other using other functions. So, the two uh, the two functions are C and data frame. Uh, a C function is you can imagine it as a column C for a column of data. It means if you know if this is an Excel spreadsheet, uh, you would populate numbers just in one column, no others. It's a it's a string of values. So <clears throat> uh, you always need to start with uh, defining a variable, and you can call it anything you want. You can call it uh, my vector, or you can call it my variable, or you could call it Susie, or whatever you want. It's really up to you how you name your variables. The only thing that matters is that you come up with a system and you always use that naming system for yourself. For example, if you use uh, periods for your variables' names, then, then always use periods to separate the words. Or if you use ca uh, capital case letters, then, then do that. And and keep uh, stick to that uh, stick to that uh, theme. Just as a side note, you cannot have uh, spaces in variable names. This will not work. You can have an underscore. You can have a period. Uh, you cannot. I don't think you can have a dash, and you definitely cannot have a space. So I'm just gonna keep, leave it like that. Uh, so here is my C function, and inside it. I can uh, add the data that I want to use for my calculation. So in this case, I'm just going to randomly place values in here. And so uh, each uh, number can be separated with a comma. And if I do not put any quotes around the values, then it's computed as a, uh, uh, a numeric. Uh, this is a vector containing numeric uh, values. I can also create uh, a, a, a vector containing uh, character values uh, so I'm just gonna use that name there and <coughs> so if I want to for example create a vector of colors I would say red uh, blue uh, black etc etc and so what what uh, the difference is is that uh, we use a double quote to enclose each item separately and we can use commas to separate uh, each uh, element in the vector. So uh, one value inside a vector is called an element. So this is a vector containing uh, character uh, elements. And then finally, uh, we can create a Boolean vector. Uh, it's, just a, it's just one vector. And um, here, if we have a bunch of true false uh, values, these are we call them booleans or logicals. So this is a vector containing uh, logicals or boolean elements. Uh, you can create mixed vectors as well, like so. So we might say true five black etc etc vector containing mixed values uh, so once you activate so I can activate all of this line of code at once if I select it all and I on, on a Mac I'm using command enter on Windows you would use control enter and now for example when I activate this value on its own I will have the output of the um, the vector right here and so now I can use it in all kinds of calculations. For example, I can do a mean. Uh, I can also do uh, a, uh, a calculation of the mean in, uh, in, a, in the slow manual way by simply summing up the values and dividing them by the number of values. So if I do this calculation separately here, line by line you can see this is the sum of all the values it's adding up all of the numbers here the length function will calculate how many elements there are there are 11 and so to compute the mean in, a, in the slow way or in a manual fashion uh, we can just simply use the division line 
to or the slash to divide the two values together and here it is so this is the mean of this vector and we can double check that this is indeed the case by using the mean function like so and it is identical therefore we can be certain that our two mean calculations are actually correct